Good morning everyone. I am STC001 and I am from Avinash College of Commerce, pursuing BCom honors over there. So today I will be adding one more topic of history to your knowledge. This is about the ancient center of higher learning, the Nalanda University, which is situated in Bihar. It was world's first residential university where there were 2,000 teachers and more than 10,000 students from all around the world, including Aryabhatta. There were courses from different fields such as science, astronomy, medicine, Ved, Shastra, Upanishad and what not. But after 800 years of extensive learning came the day which led to the biggest loss of intellectual heritage in our entire history. That is the destruction of Nalanda University by a Turkish conqueror named as Bhaktiyar Khilji in the 12th century. You might be wondering what was the reason. So it is said that once Bhaktiyar Khilji felt seriously ill and got a lot of treatment from his Hakims but no one to aware. Then someone advised him to get it treated from Rahul Shri Bhadraji who was the head of Ayurvedic branch in the Nalanda University. At first, Khilji denied that he will not get it treated from any Hindustani Vaidya. But his health then started getting deteriorated. And after a few days, he called Rahulji for treatment. But he put a condition in front of him that he will not use any Hindustani medicine and if Rahul fails to cure him, he will put him to death. And then Rahul of course started thinking and uh, after a few days, he came with a Quran to him and told him to read certain pages daily. He got confused but followed Rahul's conditions daily. And then, guess what? He gradually got cured. You might be wondering the reason. Actually, he had put the medicinal paste on the edges of the book. And his, as he spit those pages with his spit, he gradually got cured. And instead of being thankful, he became jealous that how can India be so and as a thank you to India, he eliminated the entire source of knowledge by burning the university and killing the monks. Thank you.